Hey everyone, and welcome to Simply Beautiful Sourdough. Today I'm gonna to be doing a real simple wheat stock score with a little bit of a trick that I have learned for not letting kind of the score on top of a loaf rise up into a hat shape. So I'll be sharing that with you today. I'm gonna to have links for all the things I use in the description box below, except for this because I swiped this clear shower cap from a nice hotel we were at one time. So the first thing I'm gonna be using is my Bread Basics Bread Sling. Um, if you've watched my videos before, you know all about this. I am an affiliate with them. I love this because it's got that little bracelet. It keeps it nice and rolled up tight and from flopping around in my cabinet. I wanna thank the people who've purchased these Bread Slings. That really helps, you guys are awesome. I'm gonna put it on my turntable here. This is just a Wilton cake plate. So this loaf, you will notice, is purple. It has, I believe I did three grams of sweet potato flour. Here is what this looks like, just regular purple sweet potato flour. It's very intensely colored. You need very little. 500 grams of flour, 70% hydration. Normally I would do 75, except that this is all bread flour, except for the whole wheat starter, which was 20%, and there is 2.5% salt. The sweet potato powder, by the way, does not make any kind of flavor. It tastes exactly the same, it's just kind of pretty. Spraying a little bit of water on that just to help my rice flour stick. I let that soak in for a couple of seconds and now I'm just gonna sprinkle rice flour all over it. I get it on here pretty thick usually because I really want there to be some contrast between my score and the, the top of the bread. It makes it look nicer. You don't have to use the rice flour, it just makes your design stand out more. Trying to get it around the edges there. Okay, because I really cannot draw a straight line, I'm going to make a square using my dental floss. This is just plain old dental floss on top of my loaf. I usually don't have the real smooth, beautiful scores that a lot of people do because my hand is not as steady as I would like it to be. I hope with time that will get better. Is that centered? That's not centered. Let's try it again. This is the beautiful thing about the dental floss is you can just erase it and start over. Okay. So in the middle of this, I'm going to score a few little wheat stalks. And I think just to give myself an idea of how these might go, I'm going to do a rough drawing with the end of this very elaborate wooden skewer. I think I'll do a stem on these. I don't normally do a stem. I normally go all the way down. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. There we go. And maybe we'll do one going off in this direction. Maybe a little one. Okay, we'll see about that. So I'm gonna start with that, just my little score here on top. Let me do the wheat stalk first. A little line, be real light on that line. If you don't, it'll split too much. Now, I think I might make this one going a little more actually straight up and down ish. Put a few more in here and that real light line again. I think we might make this one. Go more bendy. And a little light line there. So that's going to be enough. Oh, let's do another one right here. Oh, 
All these are is slashes that are more straight up and down than out. We'll do a tiny one down here. All right, now I'm going to do my square around this. So I'm just going to go the outside lines. I'm going to try and keep a nice steady hand. Always difficult for me. And I don't want to get it right up against any of these marks, these cuts on the wheat stalks, because then it can split apart right there. I want to keep this its own separate entity. Okay, that's not too bad, as straight lines go. That could have been a lot worse. Sometimes when you do a score on the top, you will notice that it will lift up off the edges as it bakes, and it will kind of look like a hat sitting on top of your bake. If you have your lom blade more down than sideways, that's less likely to happen. So I kind of did that when I was making the cut, but now I'm really going to do that. I'm going to go in nice and deep here along that same line. Because I want this, this is actually going to be a secondary score. Whoops, more up and down, more up and down. <laughs> I went a little sideways on that. It's a habit when I'm holding one of these to go in sideways. But now I'm going to do my primary score around the bottom. Now often when I've done this up until this point, I have always gone sideways, but I tried something different. I tried doing one with it going up, and that really lifted and did like a wide hat effect. I'm going to go down with this score all the way around the bottom here. My razor blade is not in there tight enough. I just changed it and I get, it feels like I didn't get it in there tight enough. I wish this was smoother. More down than in. And there we go. That's our little score. I'm going to put this in the oven after I use this to brush all of that flour off the, off, out here. I keep the flour on the loaf. People have asked about this. It's this flour that I brush off. I'm going to put it in my Dutch oven with the lid on. It has been heating to 500. Then I will put it back in the oven. I will move my heat down to 425 degree Fahrenheit. And I'm going to bake this for 40 minutes because I've just found if I don't bake for that long, my loaves tend to not be quite cooked enough all the way through. So I will be back in just a second with the Dutch oven reveal. Let's see how our little wheat stalks in the square turned out. Did it lift? It stayed down. So now can you see what I mean? Right. Oh, I'm happy with this. Let me turn that around so you can see it. So this didn't lift up too much. There's a little lift right here. And the reason why I was interested in this not lifting too much is I'm taking this to California and I've got to figure out how to pack it. <laughs> but if this is sticking up real high, it's more likely to poke through whatever I'm going to wrap it in and also just break upon packing. And then around the bottom here, you can see that stayed down nice and flat and it didn't do a big high lift off either. So there you go. That's your trick. Let me go ahead and put this back in the oven. Here's the reason why I like this bread sling above all others. It's nice and big. You can fit bowls and batards of all sizes. and. These nice long handles work in even a very big Dutch oven. Alrighty, back in the oven, lid off, probably about 10 to 15 minutes because it's still already pretty brown and it's mostly baked. And I'll be back for you with the final bake. Here is our loaf fully baked. Isn't that pretty? I think it turned out really nice. The double scoring of primary and then a secondary functional score really helped to keep the integrity of this little design on top in place and then keeping that blade pointing down as I did both of those scores helped to keep it from raising up too much. 
but I think all in all this just really turned out beautiful there's a little bit of a split here had I only done the cut up here that could have very well split all the way down the side so I'm really glad with my choices on this one if you try this technique I would absolutely love to hear about it unfortunately because this is going to be given as a gift I'm not going to be able to do a crumb shot of this but if you would like to see a crumb shot of these purple loaves made with the sweet potato powder give me a follow on Instagram. I'm Simply Beautiful Sourdough there as well. I also have a link for that down in my description box. I do pictures of both the loaves that I have videoed as well as other loaves that I don't take the time to video. Would love to see you over there. Would really appreciate it if you could squish that like button for me really quick. It helps this video so very much as everyone says because it's true and if you have not subscribed and you would like to see different types of sourdough videos mostly scoring please do hit the subscribe button. I want to thank you very much for watching my video taking a little bit of time to spend with me and I hope you have an absolutely amazing day. Bye-bye and be blessed. Okay, let's see how our loaf turned out. Always a little heartbreaking. You're gonna, no, that wasn't, start over. Heartbreaking, no. Let's see how our simple wheat stock in a square loaf turned out. You're gonna get a little puff of steam when I lift lift this and then I'm gonna do that again I tripped over my words let's see how out oh, nope wrong pair of gloves wow really need to get my act together here it's taking a while okay all right let's go let's see how our simple did I what in heaven's name is going on here wow all right blooper material okay let's try again mm -hmm.